doing a video. It's one of those ones I really don't want to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, so there's been a lot of videos about this whole Muslim thing, the whole Pat Condell thing. So you got Ujama Flipper and Conference Point Guy and a whole bunch of other people. And then there's this Thunderfoot video, and I'm supposed to pwn Thunderfoot, but I mean, I saw his video, and yeah, it's real pwnable. So I'll talk about that first, just because, okay, you know, basically at the end of the video, he basically um, was doing the shock and awe thing. Like, oh, you Muslims, don't be killing our people, or we'll shock and awe you. You know, we'll, we'll, we, you know, we got bigger bombs than you now, so you can't intimidate us with your death threats and all this other crap. And, uh... I mean, that's just ugly. I mean, it's just, you know, that's just fucking ugly. Sorry. We got bigger bombs than you. That's that's the, the justification. Um, I mean, that's kind of bullshit. Uh, but it's obviously it's bullshit for, you know, um, Muslim religions, um, you know, to do this death threat crap. <laughs> you know, because you offended their religion. And then on the other extreme, you got these people talking about multiculturalism and how this is somehow a good thing um, you know immigration I mean these are all messy ugly subjects sorry I just I don't see it all so so black and white um, so I guess I just preface it look I don't give a fuck so this is an important issue to me so I'm not gonna you know so don't take any of this thing any of this too serious I'm just talking from personal observation how I would see the world um, Culture is kind of important, uh, you know, it, it's it's how we interact in the world with people. And if you can't understand what somebody's saying, it's fucking irritating. And if you can't relate to them, I mean, you know, if they're, you know, I don't know, strangling chickens in their basement and, you know, making voodoo curses, I mean, this is just not the kind of life you want to live, you know. You just don't want to live separate from people. You want to find things that connect you to people. And this idea that we preserve a bunch of cultures and then smash them somehow together on purpose seems really dumb um, I mean just a good way to piss people off and I know it pisses me off and I, I, I feel bad that I'm pissed off but I get pissed off uh, it's it's and I know I'm part of the problem because I don't um, you know I, I'm I, I don't go to the the common denominator cultural standard and maybe that's what we all should strive to be is polite and civilized human beings. And, you know, maybe we shouldn't swear too much, and we shouldn't do this, and we shouldn't do that. And that's probably some sort of ideal we should all strive to head for. And uh, so I'm not saying I'm innocent, because um, I'm not. You know, I, I, I retain my comfort zone. I want to live in, the, in my comfort zone. But I know for a, a certain fact that if I moved to somebody else's country, <laughs> I would have... I would be the intimidated one. I would feel an obligation to respect where I was going. And the problem is there's a lot of people who emigrate and have no respect for the place they've moved into and think they can just open up a little temple to their bullshit right in the middle of somebody else's space. Somebody else's what somebody else once could connect to. Now they're no longer allowed to connect to because there's a fucking McDonald's there. And that's sort of a, that, that's an easy target, but I mean, just some sort of cultural symbol, whatever it is, some sort of ugly American come trampling through. And uh, that's bullshit. Um, you got to respect people's heritage and their history. It's kind of important stuff. I mean, conference, it's kind of ironic. Conference report was walking around this very English university, you know, and it's all manicured and taken care of, and, and, uh, I bet it gives a lot of English people a sense of heritage and and structure and 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 gives them some kind of standing in the world. And I bet you they don't want to someday somebody building a little tower on there and some some guy yammering a bunch of prayers out of some fucking megaphone. You know, I mean that's not going to be the same place anymore. It's a new fucking place then. And if we have to. You know, you know. So I'm just I'm just arguing that this is more complicated. It's not just a simple human rights issue. You know, there's a constitutional principles, you know, of, of rights, and, and you know we have a certain right to be offensive, but it's a limited right. It's not an unlimited right. Well, I guess it depends on the context. You know, um, 
I just don't know if we have the right in, in a, in a, on, a, on a personal level, like on the bus or something. You know, when we're in each other's face and we're stuck with each other, there has to be a certain standard we live to. And I'm not saying we should all walk around in fucking uniforms, but yeah, you just don't, you, you just don't eat a bucket of puke. You know, you know, that's your favorite dinner or meal. You don't, you don't pull out your puke sandwich on the bus. Um, it's just, it's just not, um, it's not done. You don't fornicate on the fucking bus for cripe's sakes. I mean, we know the rules exist. We know the limitations exist. And so this idea that we're just going to let people be whatever the fuck they are, um, nah, fuck that. Uh, you know, I say. So I understand people who are pissed off, and I understand people reacting to it. And if, if the other side, if the, if the liberals aren't going to accept that, uh, you know, people have a right to be pissed off, well, then they're going to, they're not going to have a message that somebody's going to want to hear, and then they're going to start running to the, the fringe political organizations because they're the only ones who are going to be talking anything that sounds like rationality to them because it sort of becomes you know there's a, there's a quality of life thing and if you're the quality of your life is going to be destroyed if everything that makes you comfortable in the world is going to be turned to shit um, yeah it's a real friggin problem I mean I don't want to live in Harlem not because black people live in Harlem but because it's a culture, I, I can't. I'm I'm just not going to be compatible with. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna untie my sneakers and I'm not gonna walk around, <laughs> you know, in, in in pants that 16 people could live in. And I'm not gonna do a lot of shit to fit in. So I'm never going to fit in. And why would I want to live somewhere where I don't fit in? I mean, that's in, that's intrinsically a negative to start with. So, and yeah, some people, you know, it's oh yeah, it's fun doing this eating different foods and doing this and doing well fuck you fine go ahead have your fun I'm just saying for me personally no I don't I don't think it's fun I think it's obnoxious and irritating and that's my opinion that's my personal fucking opinion um, I wouldn't vote for a right-wing lunatic because of that opinion okay I'm not stupid I'm not gonna vote for assholes because of it but what Pat Condell is doing is maybe it's kind of like a Ralph Nader thing I mean he's just losing his grip on reality um, because he's possessed by it, this idea that, yeah, if you go this far, you've already you're fucking it. You're fucking it so bad that it's no, there's nothing to save. So if you know, if you can't save this part of your culture, then you got nothing. And and I can sort of see why there's a paranoia there. Um, and it's gonna it's happening in this country, right? I mean, it's happening. Um, you know, the, the immigrant thing is not just a uh, a make-believe problem. It's a real fucking problem. And, and it gets to the point where you, you lose what you are. We're not going to be an English-speaking country anymore. Um, it's, it's, you know, and I, I just don't, I, like I said, I can't sit there and just ignore it and say, yeah, it's okay. It's not okay. It's going to suck. It's, it sucks that we have to, that we have to evolve to a different kind of culture, not because we had to do it, but because they're imposing it on us. They're forcing us to change. They're not coming here and changing. They're telling us we got to adapt to them. They're not adapting to us. And and maybe we both should adapt to something, like I said, something universal. Maybe we should pull something. Let's pull a race out of the hat. Let's pull a culture out of the hat and say, let's try to all be this. And maybe that'll work. But you can't deny that there's something that, that people should, that people can find it um, frightening, uh, disturbing, irritating, annoying to have to let go of what the structure that makes their life, um, that makes them comfortable. This, the, 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 you know, well, it's that simple, really. I mean, I don't really have to go into it, do I? We don't have to detail every little bit of it, do we? But, you know, there's some people that are just fine. If we become, the human race becomes some sort of standard brown thing <laughs> you know I'm not saying that in the negative I'm just saying that'll be the standard will be uh, you know a certain kind of look and that's what all humans will look like and uh, this mutt thing and that's there's nothing wrong with that um, in theory but I'm just saying how you know if that's where we're going to go well then let's get there really quick um, and let's concede that that's the intent but this idea of forcing it all together and at the same time embracing it, I guess that's the part that doesn't make sense. 
I mean, in one sense you're saying, yes, let's do the melting pot thing. And in the next sense you're saying, but everybody gets to keep their own little culture. And that's where it all goes to hell, because then we're just going to fucking offend each other. We're just, our culture is going to be in each other's fucking face. And that doesn't work. I guess I shouldn't have said fucking face. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, I think it's more complex than this. Oh, he's a bigot. I don't think that's, I think, I think, I think it's a little more complicated than that. So, um, that's all I gotta say about that. So I know I probably pissed some people off, but, you know, whatever. I've done that before. And, uh, so apparently I'm doing it again. <laughs> Yay for me! Yeah.